Hello, I'm Pastor Emmanuel J, and I welcome you to your daily work with God. And so the second thing that God wants us to do is to believe that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And it's interesting because the, the verb is that is used in the previous statement that's, that God is. It's not the same as used here when it says that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. In fact, this Greek word actually gives us the understanding of God's manifestation to his people in relation to his covenant. It gives us the idea of God becoming to you based on how you seek him. And so here he's saying that apart from believing that God is or God is real or God exists and he's who he says he is, you also have to believe that if you do your part of the covenant, God will manifest himself to you in ways that you have never imagined. God will become to you what he says he is. In other words, you're not just going to have a revelation knowledge of who God is. You're not just going to have a head knowledge of who God is, but you're going to have an experiential knowledge of who God is. It means that in your walk with God, you will begin to experience the reality of God in your life. And that means that you have placed yourself in a position to be able to experience God for yourself. And so God does not just become a redeemer in your mind, on your thoughts, but God becomes a redeemer in reality to you because you have positioned yourself to experience him. So when he says that believe that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, it means means that you believe that God can actually manifest himself greatly to you. And the Bible uses the word rewarder or remunerator, someone who rewards or pays for a work that is done. So God says that he will pay you. And who can pay you better than God when you seek him diligently? Stay blessed and see you same time tomorrow.